in, in Ukraine. Big land war. Now, I know this is aerospace, but, you know, they could, there's a lot of things Boeing, our government could do to products, whatever. I mean, we, don't, we should give them Patriot missiles, which, of course, is Raytheon. But I don't know. I mean, the, this wrestling, it's like, I'm waiting for the line, which is as if Calhoun did not screw up this quarter, this stock goes. But it's not in there. <laughs> but it's just, it's kind of in there sub rosa. Yes, yes. But people don't want to hurt people's feelings in our business. And one of the reasons is because Calhoun is incredibly nice. <laughs> yes. There's the opening bell. Is Bob Iger nice? We're going to talk about Disney in a minute. There's the CNBC real-time exchange. At the big board, it's SP Fund celebrating its Dow Jones global uh, ETF. And at the NASDAQ, Atlassian's pledge 1%. Companies pledging equity to social impact work pre-IPO. Oh, sounds like the uh, Mark Benioff's one-on-one plan. Uh, Jim mentions Disney, and there's been a lot written this morning about Iger's town hall, uh, the hiring freeze to remain, uh, calling any notion of Apple-Disney merger pure speculation. Yeah, but I like the, the pivot toward profitability is great. I thought the quizzical thing with the article was uh, he recently... He was recently listening to the music from Broadway musical Hamilton. Yes. Specifically the song, What Did I Miss? Sung by the Thomas Jefferson character, which contains the lines, there's no more status quo, but the sun comes up and the world still spins. Interesting. I think you should listen to Sondheim, right? <laughs> I mean, you know, maybe send in the clowns. 